Okay, so as you guys know, I'm just going to take my brow pencil from the Benefit Cosmetics in shade 3. And I'm just going to start brushing up my little hairs in the direction that they grow. And then I'm just going to start drawing like little hair strokes, kind of just tracing it. And I'm just going to start squiggling. Okay, so now I'm going to conceal them. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Concealer in the shade of oh, light yellow. And I'm not going to conceal the top because this is more like a natural kind of... Oh, well, I guess it's not a natural look. It's more like a... Um, not that dramatic, I guess, look. I don't know, it's very soft, very pinkish kind of look, so I'm trying not to go really over dramatic. But we shall see at the very end of the video, because I do love doing bold looks. So now that I've concealed, I'm going to wait maybe like maybe 30 seconds and I'm going to let the concealer dry a little bit just so I can start setting my eyes. And then the first shade that I'm going to go in is going to be this shade. Okay, so that pink is going to be my transitioning color. You want that um, above your eyebrow, eyebrow, oh my god, above your eyebrow bone. Okay, guys, you guys want it above your eyebrow bone. There we go. Okay. And as you guys can tell, I do have a scar right there. So that does mess up my routine of like doing my eyeshadow, but I was in a car accident. Whenever I was in high school with my husband, we were skipping school. That's what happens whenever you guys skip school, so don't skip school. Bad things always happen. And we crashed, and he hit me with his head and knocked me out. So now I have that big old scar right there. It looks ugly. Okay, so now, with the same blush palette, I'm going to go in with this color, and I'm going to put that right under my transitioning color. Okay, so now, the next color that I'm going to use is from Suba Beauty, and the, oh, I can't say it, Denaru, I don't know. I'll put it in my description box, but um, I'm going to set that in between my crease. Okay, so I'm going with the Sigma Beauty. Uh, do, 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 do. Doesn't have a number, but it looks like this. You guys, and um, I still don't know exactly how to face my camera or like get like a good angle. So I'm sorry if you guys see my big old fat cheeks. The por si I already have fat cheeks, but with the camera, it seems like you guys can see it a lot more. And like my double chin también, I'm like, oh my god. But you know what? As long as my videos, as long as you guys learn something from my videos, I don't care. You 
You guys, I'm cutting the crease. Try to take little steps. Don't go all the way. Like if you're barely starting to learn how to cut a crease. Because if you do, it's just going to get you more confused and you're just going to mess it up. So take little steps. Okay, now that we have cut our crease, I'm taking this one, this color from the Beauty Creations uh, Tease Me palette, and it's in the shade Lust. And I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit, and I'm just going to put it all over my lid. You know what? First, I'm going to use... It's from LA Splash Cosmetics. It's in the shade Vivid, I guess. And then I'm gonna, after that, I'm gonna go in with my glitter. Um, I usually go in with my glitter, but um, I've seen other makeup artists that go in with the eyeliner first, and it makes it, I guess, easier. Because whenever you go in with glitter, it's really hard to have your eyeliner pop. Because of all that glittery stuff. So go in with the eyeliner and then go back in and put the glitter. With the eyeliner, you have to retouch it. A lot of times, I guess. This is my first time using it. It's a really pretty color, but... In no all honesty, the pigmentation kind of sucks. I know the um, NYX line has a pink one too, but it's always sold out. I wonder if it if it has pigmentation or not. You guys, I'll be right back. I think my son just got here. I heard the bus. Okay, so now that we have our eyeliner. Oh my gosh, my hair is pissing me off. Um, we're going to go in with that Lust from Beauty, uh, Beauty Creations, and it's the palette Tease Me. I'm just going to spray my brush. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in with my eyeliner and I'm just going to retrace the line just a little bit. It's not too bad. So I've been using this primer. It's the Dr. Uh, Branded one. And I got it in my boxy term and I've been liking it. Um, it's actually leaving my face really, really smooth. I like the finish. My L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 107. This one's a little too dark for me, so that's why I'm going to mix it in with this 122. Because this one's too light for me, so I mix them and it's just perfect. Okay, so I'm going to conceal with my um, LA Girl Concealer in the shade Light Yellow. And I'm just going to speed up um, this process, guys, because you guys already know my routine. And if you don't have a big forehead, try not to go all the way because that just makes your forehead look a lot smaller. Like me, I have, I already have um, a small forehead. So look, it's like probably like a finger length of a, or width of my forehead. Or how do you say it? You guys know what I mean. Like, you know, it's only a finger right there. I know what I mean. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys don't like highlighter, but I'm one of those persons that love to highlight. Do the best. Okay, so my waterline, I'm gonna go in with this one. Like this.
It's from Marabella and it's, I believe, in pink. And this one you can use as eyeshadow, um, as lipstick, and as eyeliner, I think. Like this. And its name is Saint. Um, this one's really, really pigmented and it's a really pretty color. But it does crack too. I don't think I've ever found like a color, a white color that doesn't crack. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in True Brown. And then this is the lipstick. Guys, this is the final look. Um, like I said, it's really easy, really simple to do. You guys don't have to have the same exact colors, but you know, something similar. Something pink. Um... I hope you guys liked it. Um, I do have another mind and look for Valentine's, but that one is a little bit more difficult. But let me know if you guys want to see it, if you guys want me to make a video on it. It's really pretty. Um, but you guys can always comment on my comment box. And let me know what else you guys want to see because, um, I don't know. Some of you guys may want to know how to do certain looks and you guys don't know how to do it. So just let me know, comment, and, um... Also, guys, real quick, um, on the YouTube, whoever subscribed to my channel or whoever is subscribed for the giveaway, make sure to go into your account settings and go to privacy and then um, click public, I think it says. Because if not, I'm not going to be able to see who all subscribed to my channel. I think I have like 62 subscribers and out of those 62, all I could see is like 20 of them. So, please, guys, let me... Um, Go into your guys' privacy and just click um, public just so I can see. Okay, guys. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. So, whenever I do upload, you guys will be the first ones. And um, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.